I told you, TypeScript has a hidden behavior that automatically transforms types for you behind the scenes. And most of the developers don't even know it exists. Let's quickly get to it. Let's first understand what conditional types are. Here we have a higher order type example. A string is our higher order type. In this, we have a conditional logic similar to how we have it in JavaScript. But conditionals are basically asking questions about types here. How do we do that? Is we ask does t extend string, thus this generic extent of type string. And if that is true, we get this yes type. If that is no, if that is false, we get this no type. Very straightforward. Extends string, true, and then false. Let's see how that works in our following example that we have here. We are using these two types and then we are passing string to the first example, test one, and then number to the second one. What do you think would be the types that we get as response? This basically works as expected, right? We get yes for the first one, if you can see, and then no for the second one. Very, very straightforward. As we explained, this is general idea of conditional types, but let's see how unions behave when we use conditional types. So if we pass in example here is we pass in string and number, uh, this is the union type, and then we want to pass that in. The expected answer that we can think about would be no, right? This would be the expected answer because union types are neither number nor string, right? So we get no. The actual answer is we do not get no. We actually get yes and no union together. This is what distribution is in action. Distribution is an automatic feature in TypeScript, which is actually intentional and useful. It is basically in TypeScript, a way of applying conditional logic. We break the union into separate individual types and then return individual type format responses. Ready to see how this magic works step by step? The next video breaks down the exact process.